Okay, so we're going to go over um, a, a pretty standard uh, walker script. So this is when we're making a single point that will randomly walk around and we'll, we'll sort of see what sort of pattern uh, it makes through that random walking. So I'm going to start and use a point and set a point at zero, zero, zero. And what I want to do is um, make that that point move. Point, and I'm going to move it uh, one zero zero. Easy enough. Okay, so um, to make it randomly walk, I want to repeat that over and over again and give it more than one possible direction that it can go. So I'm going to start with a loop and an anemone. New start loop. An end loop. Connect these together. What I'm going to do is let's run this say a thousand times. Make a button so that we can reset it. D0, I'm going to use the point. I'm going to make a new point. Vector. So we have to say D0. And the point. D0. And the vector. So you can see if I reset that, my point is now walking. And it'll walk sort of indefinitely. Um, but we don't want it to walk continuously in the same direction. We want it to pick a different direction each time. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say pick a random number. And instead of just one direction, I'm going to try to pick multiple directions so I can step in the negative x. Let's say I can step in the y direction or the neg negative y direction. And I can step in the z direction and negative z direction. Make that multi line text so that. You can do that. Okay, so then I want to randomly pick from this set of directions a different number each time. So I'm gonna each time it each time it um, iterates through this, I want to pick a random number from this. I'm so I'm gonna say random. List item. This is the list. I'm going to pick a random number and I want to set this random number to be an integer. And I can just set the counter to the seed so it picks a random num a different random number each time. And I'll also set it to the range so it counts up. So I'm gonna let me get rid of this.
and just use it within, within inside the loop. And you see that this has a random direction that I'm stuck in. Now, the other thing I want to do is keep track of where those are stepping. So I can say record this data. And so when I get all those points out, I'm going to make a polygon. instead of having a tree of single points I want to have all the points so I'll reset that you see I have a random walker sort of moving around space three-dimensionally each iteration determining whether it steps forwards, backwards, left, right, up or down. Now, it randomly picks from this list. So if we give it more items in this list, we can determine what are the, what are the chances that it's gonna pick a specific direction. So if we say, um, I want to add another X direction and reset that. It will still randomly walk around, but it will actually have a tendency to move in the X direction. So instead of randomly walking around sort of in space, there's one more chance that it will pick the X direction. So it'll generally move in that in that direction. Um, so you can see here how we're generating this random walker, how it sort of builds a fairly complex um, sort of polyline from a pretty simple behavior. In the next videos, we'll, we'll try to um, show other examples of how uh, complex situations can emerge from, from simple behaviors as well. That's it.